it's a story about desire, it's a story about love, and most importantly, it really does show that, that, that the, the intimate relationship was a playground of experiment. This is Modern Couples at the Barbican. 80 of the most important artists of the modern era are on show side by side. All the artists are couples and the exhibition painstakingly explores the impact of their romantic relationships on their creativity. Well, we open the exhibition with Camille Claudel and Auguste Rodin. Uh, the date's 1882. She was a new kind of woman artist. She was going to the only school in Paris that took uh, women, uh, women students. She was uh, determined to be an important sculptress. She was incredibly talented. Uh, and when she left the school, of course, what did she do? She went to work with, for the leading sculptor of the day, who was Rodin. Very quickly, they entered into an affair um, and made these wonderfully kind of tender and expressive portraits of each other. They were in this dust-filled studio together, making entwined figures. Desire and intimacy was central to what they were doing. Many of the relationships were troubled and obsessive. Pablo Picasso's affair with Dora Maar inspired some of his greatest work. He painted her countless times, and she captured him on film. Together, they experimented with the alchemical nature of photography. Yet he remained in a relationship with Marie-Therese Walter, the mother of his daughter. And though he had made Maar the center of his artistic universe, he later dismissed photography as a medium. And then there was Frida Kahlo and her much older lover, Diego Rivera. Kahlo and Rivera had this tortured relationship, um, but they were, uh, you know, totally intoxicated with each other. Um, the two works that we have in the show are incredible, essentially self-portraits. The Wounded Deer by Kahlo and Communicating Vessels by Rivera um, that show them um, show them both grappling with, you know, what it is to be human, what it is to have a relationship. Um, the Wounded Deer by Carlo was painted at a, a time when she'd had uh, another horrendously failed back operation, uh, but it also says something about the difficult relationship she had with Rivera. Modern Couples challenges the idea that art history is made up of a singular line of predominantly male geniuses. I think everyone goes away with their favourite, you know, their favourite couple, their favourite room, um, and, in, and, and a sense that, um, you know, art isn't just the result of solo genius, it comes out of this creative dialogue. The symbiotic relationship between sculptor Barbara Hepworth and painter Ben Nicholson is clear to see. 1933, which we can see here, is what's known as a double portrait, and that togetherness is echoed in the sculpture from the same year by Hepworth, Two Forms. When asked about Hepworth, Nicholson said, Barbara and I are the same. They would, he added, live, think and work and move and stay still together as if we were one person. Over the years, his work became more sculpted while she began to use more incisions inspired by his portraits. Modern Couples is as much about human emotion as it is about art. It's about partnership, inspiration and synergy and ultimately it uncovers another layer of history, revealing just how important intimate relationships were to the 20th century's most creative minds. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.